If I could look back in time and speak to myself as if I was 30 years younger, I think there's, there's a number of things that I would say. The first thing that came to mind is, what the heck are you doing? Which, of course, is kind of ridiculous because I really do love my job. I love the challenges that it presents. I frankly love the customer interaction and all the things that go along with it. It's never the same. It's always something different every day. But a more realistic answer, a more truthful answer might be pay attention to the numbers. This business is all about slim margins, and that is not my forte. I'm fortunate that I have people who do that with me. It matters. Every percentage point means something in this business. Had I paid attention to those things, I probably would be a lot better off today than I am. In addition to that, I think that something else that comes to mind is that once you realize that you're good at something, you probably ought to stick with it and not maybe go in too many different directions because we all get to a point when we have success when we feel like we're invincible and everything we touch is going to turn to gold. The reality is that's just not the case. It may be sometimes, but for the vast majority of people, myself included, it just doesn't work out that way. I probably would also say that even though I do try to take care of my employees, I probably take better care of them and would have taken better care of them in the early years. Not that we were harsh, but I don't think that I, I understood the value of a good employee when I was 27 years old. If you give people the opportunity to succeed and you craft a framework from which they can grow, guess what? They'll do it if you give them a chance.